Greetings my esteemed subscribers. I am checking in with an important topic I thought to share. First and foremost, as you might have seen, we got our Legio Gloria Instagram account removed. Got no warning, no reason given, and we absolutely did not break any of the community guidelines. We only, we literally only posted garments and um, supporters wearing the garments. So they are liars when they said we broke any rules. But the short story, why did it get removed, is it's politically motivated. I am a public dissident and I am in opposition of the current regime. Therefore, they harass me in this way. That is the most accurate and the simple answer, political repression. And no, it doesn't have anything to do with mass reportings because then you can appeal. This couldn't be appealed because of who I am. It's the sacrifices you make for trying to make a better world. Anyway, there is another aspect which I thought to elaborate on. And if you have listened to my podcast number three and four, you will be familiar with uh, um, this concept. You can talk about ressentiment. That was my best uh, French. I will henceforth say um, resentiment so it's a more English or even Swedish um, tone for the um, for the word what it basically means is that you view others in a way that they are in a good position or rather you are in a bad position because someone else is in a good position so it's a common theme for many negative individuals they view the world in that sense it's a zero-sum game where for someone to win, someone else has to lose. And this is, of course, in complete opposite to my own teachings, where I try to bring all supporters up with me. Now, if I ask, or if you ask, why do they hate me? First and foremost, again, the, the politically motivated censorship, it's nothing personal, it's just politics. Um, but there is also a large, well, perhaps not large, but there is a segment perhaps of individuals who might work for Facebook or Instagram and or just regular haters or whatever we shall call them and I thought to explain why they would hate someone as kind-hearted and wholesome as myself. It might sound a bit arrogant when I say that I am an absolute angel compared to most of humanity but it's true I can't I can't be more humble than that. It's simply the case and I need to be honest with you in trying to explain these matters. So why would anyone not like me? Yes, again as I mentioned in a podcast episode, many times it's about how you make others feel. It's not actually what you do, but how you make others feel. And I will take, I will share an example here from my youth when I got mugged, I got brutally mugged by a chad. Uh, I'm sharing this example to illustrate a point. So basically I was chatting with a girl. Uh, I was only 16 at the time. It was nothing serious or anything but I was chatting with her and she had as a profile picture she had a well a male fitness model basically and I got to be jealous so I wrote to her something a passive aggressive comment about him saying he was gay or whatever it might have been and I still remember it because I remember after the conversation I felt a bit I felt quite silly because I understood that yeah he was probably not gay he was probably very popular with all the ladies and he um, yeah good looking well trained guy but I have felt so mugged by him I had felt so jealous and inferior so I had to so I had to attack him in that sense obviously not attack but I had to come with a passive-aggressive comment and that um, yeah it was a low point for me and um, it served as a valuable lesson because it ha even happened to me then then of course you grow up you well some grow up at least there are still adults behaving in this way uh, but I still remember it and I remember why I did it then of course I caught myself afterwards um, and I said okay I did this I wrote this because I got mugged because I felt that he yeah, I felt bad. He made me feel bad. Now, he was probably a great guy. 
you know, it was just a random uh, male model, I have no idea who it was, but I remember that I felt bad, he made me feel bad because I had a, an inferior mindset. And the same thing, again, he might, he probably was the nicest guy around, because usually if you are in a position of confidence, you are a nice individual. It's the uh, insecure people who are um, most usually aggressive and mean and stuff like that. Now I also have another example from my youth where a group of lads going into going into town sitting on the train drinking some beers and there came on a guy who went to the same school as the guys I was um, going into a party or something whatever it was and when we were going off the train because the guy seemed a bit a bit shy a bit strange I gave him my beer to be nice and to yeah I didn't want it anymore and he asked did you do something with it in a sort of suspicious way and I asked why would I have done something with it and this all stuck with me because I I was so perplexed I didn't understand why he would think that I had done something with his beer and then it dawned on me and it served also as a valuable lesson that some people they view the world in that sense they can only ever view people in a bad light they believe the worst of people because they have a because they are downtrodden in their lives they are they have a very bad self-esteem so therefore they believe the worst of themselves they can only ever believe the worst of others and i still remember i feel um, i felt bad for the guy because he was so he couldn't just take a gesture of kindness me giving a half a bottle of beer to him he couldn't take that as a sign of kindness he had to take it as someone making a, an attempt to trick him or make a fool out of him or something and this is something i've seen in later years as well i was only 18 at the time or 19 or something like that um, and you can see this quite often and i do believe the people who hate me today who might be at the Facebook office or uh, an Instagram office or whatever it might be uh, you know again the the ban will come from higher up but I'm sure certain people they take certain delight in um, in uh, trying to make my life more difficult and I would say that they harbor that same sort of mentality that they can only ever believe the worst out of people so if I say that it's nice to help people I feel fulfilled when I help people, when I see others grow, they can't really relate to it. They can only understand it as I need an ulterior motive. I'm actually not out for doing anything good. I'm out for actually I'm a really horrible person and I want to do this uh, something completely different. I want to be mean to them. I want to oppress them. And of course these individuals who think this way, they have never met me. They've never talked to me. They probably have never watched a complete video of mine. They only see a hit piece here and say, this guy is a mean, horrible, extremist, almost a terrorist. He is uh, so this and that. That's what they see and they build a, a picture of me in their minds, um, which of course isn't, isn't correct. And then they won't move from that. And even if they do watch a few of my videos, when I talk about how to improve your life or something like that, how to help my audience or whatever it might be, they will only think that I have, I do it for, for a different reason. So the same thing as the downtrodden guy who thought I had done something with the bear I gave him, these individuals, now adults, which makes it uh, even worse, they also have the same mindset. I am not out to make the world a better place, I'm not out to help people, I'm actually out to to be a horrible extremist and I'm so hateful or whatever again if you if you work on YouTube or something uh, can you please send me send me an email showing exactly where I have ever said anything hateful or harmful you can't because you can't because I haven't now moving on to actually the same topic as I made my last video on that your mind and body they're one and they allow you to think in a certain way when I say that my supporters are 
jacked and glorious young men usually and older men of course and some women uh, all decent well turned out you like me because your your physiology your biology it allows you to like me why are my detractors in all cases I know of all cases I've seen they usually have mental and physical problems yes that allows them to think in a different way and then it is actually nothing strange that they would believe that I am horrible in certain ways because that is how they feel that is how I make them feel so I make them feel bad for whatever reason they conjure up some Hollywood film with a blonde athletic jock being mean to nerds etc uh, and they think they and they think that is me which is a faulty trope by the way it's false it's false for me and it's false for most jocks I have met the athletic and uh, confident guy is the nice guy the downtrodden guy is the mean and horrible guy I didn't believe this at first but in um, in all my years in the materium I've come to realize it's uh, completely the case same thing in the gym the most jacked guy is usually the most humble and nice guy so anyway the main point that you can meditate upon is that it's not primarily what you do or how you act but it's about how you make others feel just by being then of course due to physical or mental deficiencies that most of my detractors have it will allow them to make themselves feel even worse when presented by my aesthetics then of course if you are in a good if you have a healthy soul you will be able to appreciate um, my work or not even my work this is not about myself I'm just a, an avatar of uh, certain ideals it will make you feel good most of my supporters they feel hyped up after watching a video they feel good they can sense my positive energy my positive aura and that is of course charisma and why I have been able despite everything I might add to a relatively large platform so then you my dear supporter you might say why would anyone dislike you why don't they enjoy your good vibes your good energy because they can't same thing if we're talking about the Sun some people love it some people get burnt after five minutes some people like coffee or love coffee in my case some people don't like it at all uh, it's an acquired taste depending on where you are in your mind and body so there is it's unfortunate I it breaks my heart that not everyone likes me but it is that way because only certain individuals have the mental and physical capacity to like me to appreciate it just as with coffee you need a few few cups before you begin to like it same thing with the Sun of course if you are a ginger living in California you probably won't like the Sun as much if you are a um, if you live in Sweden and if you don't see the Sun so often you want a Sun Max when it's here because you have different perspectives on these things no same thing when it comes to appreciating me of course many individuals uh, they will not appreciate it because they are downtrodden they feel bad with themselves they can only view other humans in the same in the same light they believe the worst of people then you have different individuals a lot of good guys and girls who appreciate me because they see the the truth of my um, of my joy and wisdom so to speak they see it's when I'm happy it's sincere when I smile the world smiles back upon me completely natural and in order for you to understand this you have to feel it yourself you have to be in a good mood yourself and then we can talk about purely biological a purely biological reaction to hard training you feel good okay so then you start viewing everything gets a bit lighter and more happy then you view other humans in a different way uh, you start thinking better you start believing uh, better things so to speak and also there is something to be said about teachers coaches priests or whomever it might be as humans we do like to help others you might not believe it at first but there is something since we're social creatures there is something in us that makes us 
feel a certain sense of fulfillment when we help others. That's why it is a very uh, nice and fun thing to be in those positions. So you might be a priest or you might be a coach or a teacher or whatever it might be. You feel a certain sense of satisfaction when you help people. If you don't understand this, if you don't understand that this is how humans work, if you have a very negative worldview, yeah, of course, you will believe the worst of people that I am, when I say post physique, I'm only doing it to be mean to others. I'm doing it to uh, bully fat people or whatever it might be. I've never been mean to anyone in my entire life, as I can remember. But still people believe that I am mean when I say these things because I make them feel bad. But instead of just viewing the worst, believing the worst, listen to what I say, do as I say, and I can guarantee you that your life will be better. Then of course it is the easy way to say, no, you know what, I'm an intolerant extremist or whatever and I'm so horrible and mean. You can say that of course and you can continue living a, a bad life ultimately. Or you can say, yeah, this guy has a point, I will do as he advises, and I guarantee you that you will become a fan. But until you make that change in your mind, yeah, I can't expect you to like me, because you still will believe the worst of everyone, including myself, and you will be in a bad position mentally yourself. Now, there is a last note I would like to say when it comes to being envious, by being Jellignite. It's a very counterproductive feeling. Uh, it won't give you anything. So instead of looking at people saying, oh, this guy, he is in this good position. I want to make his life harder, which you are. If you uh, get me censored on various platforms, you get, um, yeah, temporary victory. I won't stop, by the way. I will never stop, even if it's a little bump in the road forward. Um, it's a small victory for these negative, resentmentful people trying to make my life worse, but your life, it won't get better. You might feel a temporary sensation of pleasure that you have made my life harder, but does it make your life better? Does, your make, does it make your life better now that you know that, yes, it was a hard blow and it hurt me when I got my first my personal Instagram removed. It hurt me. Did it make your life better? Is what you can ask yourself. I don't believe it would. I don't believe it made your life better. I still believe that you are in the same negative downtrodden position. And so instead of trying to tear others down, try to build yourself up, it's... Um, I can assure you, even though you are my enemy, I can assure you that it will make you feel better and then you will and then you will not feel the same sort of joy in um, being a petty and vengeful individual. So I hope that made sense. Be sure to follow all links in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. XXO, boom!